Welcome to our Mystery Sleep Stories channel, your sanctuary for meditation and a peaceful sleep. Immerse yourself in the soothing embrace of sleep-inducing tales, carefully crafted to transport you to mysterious lands. Let the gentle rain and serene sounds of nature accompany you on this quest for deep sleep. Say goodbye to restless nights and welcome the embrace of a restful sleep with our mystery bedtime stories. So, let the tale begin. The Thief and the Enchanted Tavern Chapter 1 The Discovery In a quaint, dimly lit tavern on the outskirts of the kingdom, Finn, a notorious thief with a reputation for daring escapades, wandered in seeking refuge from the prying eyes of the city. The tavern, known simply as the Wandering Star, was a place where whispers of ancient magic and lost treasures often circulated among its patrons, a mix of travelers, mercenaries, and rogues. Finn entered the tavern, his cloak pulled tightly around him, concealing his face in shadows. The flickering candlelight cast an eerie glow on the wooden walls, revealing faded paintings of long-forgotten heroes and mythical creatures. As he moved toward the bar, the floorboards creaked under his boots, blending with the murmur of hushed conversations and the clinking of tankards. The barkeep, an old man with a weathered face and a knowing smile, nodded at Finn. His eyes, sharp and observant, seemed to miss nothing. Finn returned the nod, sliding onto a stool at the bar. He ordered a mug of ale and scanned the room, his keen eyes taking in every detail. Among the dusty bottles and cobweb-covered shelves behind the bar, a peculiar flask caught Finn's eye. Unlike the other bottles, it shimmered with an otherworldly glow, its contents swirling with an eerie luminescence. Intrigued, Finn leaned forward, his curiosity piqued. The barkeep noticed his interest and leaned in close, his voice a conspiratorial whisper. That, he said, pointing to the glowing flask, is a potion of invisibility. One sip, and no one will see you. Finn's heart skipped a beat. A potion of invisibility. The possibilities were endless. He could slip past guards unnoticed, enter forbidden places, and steal the most well-guarded treasures. He imagined himself walking through the heavily guarded gates of the king's castle, unseen and unstoppable. How much? Finn asked, his voice low but eager. The barkeep named a price that made Finn wince, but he knew it was worth it. He handed over a pouch of gold coins, his mind already racing with plans. The old man carefully took the flask from the shelf and handed it to Finn. The thief held it up, watching the luminescent liquid swirl inside. It seemed almost alive, a dancing flame encased in glass. Remember, the barkeep said, his tone serious now, magic always comes with a price. Use it wisely. Finn nodded, barely hearing the warning. He slipped the flask into his cloak, feeling a rush of excitement. As he left the tavern, his thoughts were consumed with the heists he could pull off with such power. The streets outside were dark and quiet, but Finn's mind was ablaze with possibilities. He returned to his hideout, a small room above a decrepit inn, and sat down at a rickety table. Placing the flask before him, 
He studied it intently. The barkeep's warning echoed in his mind, but he dismissed it. This was his chance to pull off the greatest heist of his career. Chapter 2 The Ambitious Plan Finn spent the next few days meticulously planning his most audacious heist yet. Robbing the king's castle. With the potion in his possession, he felt invincible, as if he had been granted a gift from the gods themselves. He secluded himself in his small hideout, a modest room above a decrepit inn, and began to lay out his plan. First, he obtained a detailed map of the castle, studying it until every corner, every passageway, and every hidden door was committed to memory. He noted the locations of the guards, the patrol schedules, and the potential points of entry and exit. He even tracked the moon's phases and the weather patterns, choosing a night when the sky would be overcast and the moon hidden, casting the castle grounds in deep shadow. Next, Finn conducted several reconnaissance missions, observing the castle from a distance and noting the routines of the guards. Disguised as a common laborer, he mingled with the castle staff, picking up bits of gossip and useful information. He learned about the changing of the guard, the weaknesses in the security system, and the habits of the castle's inhabitants. Every detail was noted, every potential obstacle considered and accounted for. He also prepared his equipment with the same meticulous care. His clothing was chosen for maximum stealth, dark, supple fabric that allowed for silent movement and quick escapes. His tools were minimal, but essential. Lockpicks, a small grappling hook, and a sturdy sack to carry his loot. The potion of invisibility, his most prized possession, was kept close at all times, its luminescent glow a constant reminder of the power it held. The night of the heist arrived. The sky was a blanket of thick clouds, and a chill wind whispered through the streets. Finn dressed in his stealth gear, strapped the empty sack to his waist, and took a deep breath. He pulled the flask from his cloak, and, with a mix of anticipation and trepidation, took a sip. Instantly, a cool sensation spread through his body. He watched in awe as his hands faded from view, followed by his arms, and then the rest of his body. He was completely invisible. A grin spread across his face. This was it. His moment of triumph. He slipped out of his hideout and moved through the darkened streets. A silent shadow in the night. The castle loomed ahead. Its tall towers and thick walls. A formidable sight. But Finn was undeterred. He approached the main gate, where two guards stood at their post, unaware of the invisible intruder slipping past them. Inside the castle grounds, Finn moved with the silence of a shadow, his footsteps making no sound on the cobblestone paths. He navigated through the maze of corridors and courtyards, avoiding the patrolling guards with ease. His heart raced with excitement, each successful evasion fueling his confidence. As he entered the opulent halls of the castle, he marveled at the lavish decor tapestries, chandeliers, and priceless artifacts adorned the walls. But he had no time for distractions. His goal 
was the royal treasury, where the king's wealth was stored. Finn stopped when he approached the treasury's enormous door. After taking a deep breath to calm himself, he began working on the lock. With deft finger movements, the lock clicked open in a matter of seconds. He opened the door and took a step inside. The sight that greeted him took his breath away. Piles of gold coins, chests overflowing with jewels, and priceless artifacts filled the room. Finn wasted no time. He began to fill his sack with as much as it could hold, his mind already envisioning the life of luxury that awaited him. But as the clock struck midnight, a strange sensation crept over him. He felt a slight dizziness, a faint tingling in his limbs. At first, he ignored it, focused on his task. But the sensation grew stronger, and he began to feel lightheaded. He looked down at his hands, which were still invisible, but his confidence wavered. Chapter 3 The Unforeseen Side Effects As Finn continued his heist, the thrill of success was overshadowed by an unexpected and growing sense of unease. His initial excitement began to wane as he felt a creeping dizziness that made his vision blur and his limbs feel unnaturally heavy. He shook his head, trying to dispel the fog that clouded his mind, but the sensation only intensified. Panic started to take root in his heart, a feeling he rarely experienced. Finn glanced down at his invisible hands, but to his horror, they flickered, momentarily becoming visible. His breath caught in his throat. He was not alone in the treasury. The possibility of being seen and caught now seemed very real. He needed to get out, and fast. His mind raced as he ducked into a shadowy corner, pressing himself against the cold stone wall. He held his breath as a guard passed by. The clinking of armor and the guard's heavy footsteps echoing in the treasury's cavernous space. The guard, oblivious to the danger lurking just inches away, continued on his patrol, but Finn knew his luck could run out at any moment. Finn realized the potion's effects were not as stable as he had hoped. The enchantment that had seemed like a blessing was turning into a dangerous liability. He could not afford another flicker. The risk of being seen was too great. Clutching his sack of stolen treasure, he made a decision. He needed to get out before the invisibility wore off completely. Moving quickly but cautiously, Finn navigated his way through the treasury, his heart pounding with each step. The dizziness persisted, making it hard to focus, but he pushed through, driven by sheer determination and the fear of getting caught. The corridors that had seemed so familiar during his planning now felt like a labyrinth, each turn fraught with potential peril. As he approached the exit, he stumbled, his balance thrown off by the potion's erratic effects. A handful of coins spilled from his sack, clattering loudly on the stone floor. Finn cursed under his breath, but dared not stop to retrieve them. The noise might attract the guards, and time was running out. He reached the massive wooden door leading out of the treasury and paused, listening intently for any sign of approaching footsteps. The hallways were eerily quiet, 
but he knew that silence could be deceiving. Gathering his strength, he pushed the door open just enough to slip through, his movements careful and controlled. Finn's journey through the castle was a blur of tense moments and near misses. Every flicker of visibility made his heart race. Every sound seemed amplified in the silence of the night. His usual confidence was shaken, replaced by a heightened sense of vulnerability. He avoided the main corridors, sticking to the shadows and using lesser-known passages to make his escape. The final stretch to the castle gates was the most harrowing. The guards at the entrance were alert, their eyes scanning the darkness for any signs of trouble. Finn's body flickered again, and he felt a surge of desperation. He crouched low, moving with the silence of a cat, every step deliberate and measured. As he approached the gates, his body flickered once more. This time, it lasted longer, his form wavering like a mirage in the desert. Finn's heart pounded in his chest. He could almost feel the guards' eyes on him, even though they remained blissfully unaware. He needed to act quickly. Summoning the last of his strength, Finn made a dash for the gates, slipping past the guards in a blur of motion. He didn't stop running until he was well away from the castle, his breath coming in ragged gasps, his body drenched in sweat. He stumbled into an alleyway, collapsing against the wall as the final remnants of the potion's magic wore off. Finn looked at the sack of treasure beside him, a mix of triumph and dread filling his heart. He had succeeded in pulling off the heist, but the narrow escape had shaken him to his core. The old barkeep's warning echoed in his mind. Magic always comes with a price. Finn had learned that lesson firsthand. The potion of invisibility had granted him great power, but it had also brought him perilously close to disaster. As he sat in the darkness, Catching his breath, Finn knew that he couldn't rely on the potion again. It was too unpredictable, too dangerous. He would need to find another way to achieve his goals, one that didn't involve gambling with his life. The enchanted tavern had given him a taste of true power, but it had also taught him a valuable lesson. Magic no matter how alluring, always comes with a price. Chapter 4 The Price of Power Back at the Enchanted Tavern, Finn stumbled through the door, his breath ragged, the weight of the treasure sack pulling heavily on his shoulders. The effects of the invisibility potion had worn off entirely, leaving him visible and vulnerable. He made his way to a secluded corner, collapsing into a creaky wooden chair. Exhaustion washed over him as he slumped forward, the adrenaline that had fueled his escape now replaced by a deep, bone-weary fatigue. Finn looked at the sack of treasure he had managed to steal, the glittering gold and shimmering jewels spilling out onto the table. The sight should have filled him with triumph, but instead, he felt a gnawing unease. The narrow escape from the castle had shaken him, and the realization of how close he had come to being caught gnawed at his confidence. The old barkeep, who had sold him the potion, approached with a slow, deliberate gait, his eyes twinkling with a mix of amusement 
and pity met Finn's. The barkeep had seen many adventurers and thieves pass through his tavern, but few had returned with the same look of wary understanding that now shadowed Finn's face. The potion's power is great, the barkeep said softly, his voice carrying the weight of many years of wisdom. But it comes with risks. Use it wisely, or it will cost you dearly. Finn nodded, the barkeep's words resonating deeply. He had experienced the potion's power firsthand, but he had also felt its unpredictable nature threaten to undo him. The heist had been successful, but only just. The thrill of success was now overshadowed by the recognition of how perilous his plan had been. As he sat there, Finn replayed the events of the night in his mind. The moments of dizziness, the flickering of his invisibility, the close calls with the guards. All of it painted a vivid picture of how precarious his situation had been. He knew he couldn't rely on the potion alone. It was too volatile, too dangerous. He turned his attention back to the barkeep. Is there a way to stabilize the potion's effects? He asked, his voice tinged with a mixture of hope and desperation. The barkeep shook his head slowly. Magic of that kind always carries risks. It's the nature of the beast. There are no guarantees. You can seek out more knowledge, refine your skills, and perhaps find ways to mitigate the dangers but you must always be cautious. Finn absorbed the words, understanding the wisdom in them. The enchanted tavern had given him a taste of true power, but it had also imparted a valuable lesson. Magic, no matter how alluring, always comes with a price. The key was to use it sparingly and wisely, never relying solely on its power. With a newfound sense of caution, Finn resolved to hone his skills. He would train harder, learn new techniques, and uncover the tavern's other secrets. The tavern, with its hidden treasures and magical artifacts, held many mysteries. He had only scratched the surface. Perhaps there were other items, less risky, but equally powerful, that could aid him in his endeavors. He spent the next few weeks in the tavern, immersing himself in its lore. The barkeep, seeing Finn's determination, shared stories and knowledge of the tavern's many artifacts. Finn listened intently, eager to learn and grow. He practiced tirelessly, honing his agility, stealth, and cunning. Each day, he felt himself becoming more skilled, more prepared for the challenges ahead. One evening, as he sat by the fire, Finn reflected on his journey. The treasure he had stolen was a testament to his abilities, but it was also a reminder of the dangers he faced. He knew now that true success lay not in relying on magical shortcuts but in cultivating his own skills and wits. The potion had been a powerful tool, but it was his ingenuity and perseverance that would ultimately see him through. The enchanted tavern, with its mysterious and magical aura, had become a second home to Finn. It was a place of learning and growth where he could continue to evolve as a thief and adventurer. The barkeep, once a mere supplier of potions, had become a mentor, guiding Finn with his wisdom and experience. As Finn prepared for his next venture, he felt a sense of readiness he had never known before. He was no longer just a thief with a powerful potion. 
he was a master of his craft, ready to face whatever challenges came his way. The lessons he had learned at the tavern would stay with him, a constant reminder of the balance between power and caution. With a final nod to the barkeep, Finn set out into the night, the weight of his past experiences guiding his steps. The future was uncertain, but he felt prepared, armed with the knowledge that true power came not from magic alone, but from the wisdom to use it wisely.